On this video, I will talk about a $1,050 creator PC that's going to be great for creative apps. So if you're into content creation, video editing, and all of this stuff, this video is going to be for you. Now, if you have a budget below $1,050 or above the number, don't worry about it because at the end of the video, I will explain on how to make this PC cheaper and also how to make it more expensive so you gain some extra performance and you save some money without having to trade much performance. I will also show you another option that's actually a laptop but I will leave it at the end of the video. If you're looking for a ProBuild PC, I do not recommend you searching a creator PC for around a thousand dollars because basically ProBuild PCs and ProBuild PC companies are for gaming. Of course at the higher end you will find some ProBuild PCs that are for content creation but on the lower end everything is for gaming so I do not recommend you going for a ProBuild PC if your main focus is creating content. Without further ado, let's start. Now because it is a creator PC we're going to focus on the CPU, motherboard, RAM and storage. And for the CPU, I picked the i5 12600K. I think that this one is one of the best in terms of price to performance on the market right now, if not the best one. And because you get the K version and it doesn't have a NEF on the model, that means that it also has integrated graphics that will help you out with video editing for both previewing the clip and also rendering them. So it's crucial that you don't get the F version. You can get the 12600 non K version. This one is a bit cheaper, but it doesn't have those extra for efficiency cores. However, I will explain the main differences later on this video so it's really important for you to watch it until the end. Then for the CPU I picked the ID Cooling SE226 XT CPU Air Cooler. You can go with a 240 millimeters all-in-one liquid cooler and it's going to be a better option but it's more expensive and this air cooler is going to be enough for this type of build and it's not going to hit at all so this CPU is pretty great for the 12600K at only 50 bucks. Then for the motherboard I picked the ASRock C690 Wi-Fi 6E motherboard. This one is great for content creation it's got four in that two slots which is going to be huge if you want to add more storage later on also the audio on this thing is great and audio it's something really important on a creator pc build it also comes with beautiful rgb and the price is 185 bucks which is not a lot considering that it's a 3690 motherboard with wi-fi included and four in that two slots so it's going to fit great on this pc for the memory kit i picked the silicon power x power 32 gig 2 by 16 ddr4 at 3200 MHz CL16 memory. I don't recommend you going with 16 gigs of RAM for content creation. For gaming, 16 gigs is more than enough, but for content creation, you will need those 32 gigs, especially because you will be adding and searching footage all the time, downloading stuff from the internet, downloading videos and audio from the internet, and you will probably have a bunch of tasks open. And on top of that, usually video editing softwares use a lot of RAM, so 32 gigs is the sweet spot for content creation. You can go with 64 gigs, but I don't really see the reason on a thousand and fifty bucks PC build. Then for the storage, I picked the Western Digital Green SN350 2TB of M.2 NVMe SSD. And being a content creator, trust me, it takes a lot of storage, so you will need at least 2TB. If it's SSD, that's better. I couldn't get a Gen 4 SSD, that's way too expensive for our build. However, Gen 4 makes sense on a content creator PC build. If you're going to do gaming, Gen 4 is not going to make any difference. But if you're transferring big files all the time to put on your video, Gen 4 SSD is going to make sense but it's too expensive so for this build gen 3 it's all that we're going to need then for the graphics card i picked the geforce rtx 2060 for 227 dollars now you may say the rx 6600 it's a much better value and i do understand that point from a gaming point but if you're talking about content creation the rtx 2060 has a better encoder and it's going to work better if we are talking about video editing or just any content creator task so just because of the nvidia encoder the 2060 is the better option you get six gigs of VRAM which is the starting point for video editing I wouldn't go with a graphics card with 4 gigs of VRAM for a task like this and because you get the 2060 i5 2600k combination for gaming is definitely more than enough at 1080p you won't have any issues at running 60 plus FPS on average on every single game and considering that esports titles are usually CPU demanding games like Valorant CSGO and Fortnite are going to run at above 240 FPS on average so feel free to play those games competitively while you do content creation. Then for the case we get the Metallic Gear Air ATX mid tower case. This one has enough airflow and you get those two RGB fans on the front which are really nice and I wouldn't spend more money on the case 
but if you really don't like this one you can get another one with good airflow and a similar price at around 70 bucks so feel free to upgrade the case if you don't like it then for the power supply i picked the fga br 700 watt 80 plus run certified power supply this one is 35 dollars and it's going to give us enough power for this pc build so the total price will be 1060 bucks and you get a pc that's basically excellent for even 4k content creation it really depends on the type of work that you do if you do some professional work and you want to do a lot then i recommend you are reading your budget or saving more money but even for exporting 4k videos and editing them let's say on adobe premiere this pc build is more than enough and the price is reasonable for a pc like this so if you have a lower budget than 1059 bucks i would recommend you downgrading the gpu first to the gtx 1660 super do not buy it brand new though because it's more expensive actually i do recommend you buying it from ebay you can get it as low as 180 bucks and you get 6 gigs of vram as well so so for content creation, the 1660 Super is still a solid graphics card and you save around $50. So the price will be a thousand bucks at the end. Now, if you want to keep downgrading things because your budget is lower, then I would recommend you buying the i5 12600 instead of the 12600K. Yes, you lose those four efficiency cores and it's not ideal for overclocking. These CPUs are not designed for overclocking. If you want to do that, then get the 12600K. But the 12600 is still a great choice. You're not losing on a lot of performance, trust me and because it doesn't require as much power you can go with a cheaper cpu cooler like the Bitro b5 so you end up saving a bunch of money and the total price for this pc if you end up doing those three downgrades the total price will be 950 bucks which is a great price for a creator pc i wouldn't recommend you downgrading more stuff since it will have to be something that's important for a creator pc such as the storage memory or motherboard however if you want to keep downgrading things because you have a lower budget i would recommend you downgrading the storage to one terabyte and upgrading it later on to save around 80 extra bucks which is a lot so consider doing that if you have a lower budget and if you don't want to build your pc if you want something that's built already i would recommend you something like the 2020 m1 macbook air i actually have this macbook and it's great i used the editing software the premiere cut pro for some of my videos and it worked great with no issues so if you're going to upload 1080p videos on youtube the m1 macbook is going to be more than enough and i've seen videos where they test it at 4k now i'm not going to tell you that it's great for 4k because i haven't tested it i upload my videos at 1080p so it wouldn't make sense but for 1080p video editing more than enough you can get it for 900 bucks on best buy and you can even get a professional renewed amazon macbook for 700 bucks which is much less money and then if you have a higher budget for 1231 dollars i recommend you upgrade the gpu to have a better support for that cpu and concentration overall i recommend you the rtx 3060 you get 12 gigs of vram which double the amount of the vram on the 2060 is much better for gaming also it's a better gpu also for ray tracing 3d rendering and all of this stuff and then if you even have more money i recommend you going for the i7 12700k but if you do this upgrade you will need a better cpu cooler and i would recommend at least a 240 on in one liquid cooler like the enermax 3 240 a rgb liquid cooler don't worry if you got lost let me know down below in the comment section your question and i will help you out as soon as possible the total price for the pc if it's upgraded it's going to be 1340 bucks and you will gain extra performance on content creation however if you're not a professional the i5 2600k is going to be more than enough and you definitely don't need the i7 but if you want to do some professional work then consider upgrading to the i7 if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content which i do from three to five times a week thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one